So, you want to get signed by a music manager, but you don't know how to get one, or even what a music manager does. In today's video, I'm going to look at all of these topics and also show how one of my students from the Artist Blueprint just got signed to a music management company. Let's dive in. There isn't a day go by where I don't get asked by a DJ or a producer if I can manage them. It's quite nice. I have been working closely with DJs and producers since 2016, firstly with Ben Sterling, who I helped get signed to his dream label's hot creation. Jamie Jones signed five of his records over one summer, and that then skyrocketed his career to the next level. I worked with Ben for three years before that, helping him get tracks signed to different labels, introducing him, networking him, and really built him up using data transmissions channels. Last month, one of my course members from the Artist Blueprint, Josh Samuel, got signed to a great music management company. I've been working with Josh for the last six years, but before we jump into what we did with Josh and how we got him ready to be signed to that management company, we should answer some of the big questions, including what does a music manager do? A music manager will manage every aspect of a DJ and producer's career, from managing contracts, collecting payments, getting music signed, and generally opening doors to create the next opportunities. A good music manager can create collaborations with vocalists and new engineers to improve your music, and most DJs and producers will think landing a good music manager will take away the headaches of the day-to-day -day for you. And this is essentially true. Really good managers will move the day-to-day -day grind, but in dance music, there's still a lot for the DJ and producers to do themselves. Good music managers will help you with your strategy. They'll help you get tracks signed to the right labels and help you open up the doors to the, the next level of labels. They'll help you create the goals to create the path to your, push your career further. Good music managers will also manage the team around you. And this could include social media, publicists, designers, animators, booking agents, and more. Good music managers aren't experts in everything, but they are good at managing people as well. They essentially will take what you already have and make it exponentially bigger. But you have to have something in place for them to do that in the first place. They can't work from nothing. Before you start trying to attract a good music manager, you need to be building yourself up first. And it can't just be about good music these days. It has to be about the whole package. There are 120,000 records released every single week across the platforms. So you need to be able to cut through the noise yourself, build the hype first and foremost, and that can attract the good music managers. The second question we need to look at, how do managers get paid? Let's start with brass tax. Usually a music manager will get paid by a percentage somewhere between 15 and 20% of everything you earn. And this can include royalties, it can include streaming royalties, it can include downloads, booking fees, tickets for if you're doing your own shows, merchandise, and everything else that you collect as an artist. If there are some costs, that will then some come off first before the manager takes their cut. So if for instance, if you hire mastering engineers or people to help you with productions or visual effects people to help you with your visuals, those costs will all come off first. So a music manager is like a partner with the artist. The music manager will also be looking to increase what their percentage is worth across the whole year and be looking to create opportunities for that artist to create a bigger percentage for themselves. But how do you get a good music manager? More importantly, if we're looking at artists that are small, like a lot of people in my community, do you need a music manager right now? Do you need to be giving away 15, 20%? Or can you be doing a lot of it yourself and pushing yourself forward and looking at better time management for yourself to create these opportunities and push yourself forward? A lot of this is what I teach in my course, The Artist Blueprint and help my students understand everything around being an artist after you've made the records and you've learned to DJ. Through the online curriculum, it teaches you social media, it teaches you how to understand Spotify and how to grow your records and how to grow your streams, listeners and followers. It also has to build your content and build an audience for yourself on the platforms. Also with my group mentoring every Tuesday and Wednesday, we can answer those questions and support those artists through this phase of their career. This is something I did with Josh Samuel for the last six or seven years. Firstly, through my one-to-one -one courses, which then finished when I created the artist blueprint from working with artists like Josh and Ben. So why do producers and DJs join the Artist Blueprint and want to work with me? Because I've worked in the dance music industry for the last 20 years. I've run data transmission and industry standards, a dance music authority for the last 15 years, and I've grown artists for the last eight years. With data transmission, I've worked with every dance music record label over the last 15 years. I know lots of artist managers, publicists, booking agents, promoters, legal people, artists, and I've got lots of friends in this industry and this scene. Oh, friend! Also, for the regulars on this channel, I have a deep knowledge of Instagram, SoundCloud, YouTube, Spotify, how to get music signed. And from working with now over 500 DJs over the last eight years, I've got hundreds, if not thousands, of records signed across those years through all those artists. 
I've helped those artists grow their social media to hundreds of thousands of followers now. And one thing I've learned from working with so many DJs is how to get a DJ to be manageable and how to push them to the next level of their career. To do this, I have to then first understand if the DJ or producer has the drive that's needed. And to do that, I sit down with them on a discovery call. We understand where they are now, where they want to get to. And if this bit in the middle is the course, then we chat about the course. If it's not right for them right now, then I'll give them some stuff to go and do to drive themselves forward. And then we'll chat again in a year or two years when they are ready. So when I started working with Josh, it was about getting his music signed to the right record labels. It was about building a social media audience and understanding where he wanted to get to in the long term of the goals. We worked out some key targets and labels for him, and these included Solado Solar Records, Golden City's Realm Records, and we got those records signed to those labels. We also used our own data transmission labels, data transmission and DT weapons, to sign records and help push him forward and give him some leverage so he could help to get these records signed in the first place. By using our own labels and using Data Transmission's brand, it really helps him push forward in between the releases between Solar and Realm Records. At the same time, Josh was leveling up his own skills by doing courses like the Tourum Academy Creativity Unlocked course, which really leveled up his productions and really helped him get his music signed to even better labels. It definitely made it easier on my side to help get that music signed. After doing that course, it was really a light bulb moment for Josh. He went back into the studio and really worked on some of the tracks that we were trying to pitch out. And then we went again with those tracks and then they got signed. I definitely recommend it. We had some amazing luck with Josh and you definitely need some luck. I sent some tracks to my friends, Camel Fat, who I've interviewed on this channel, and they started playing one of Josh's tracks called Eyes. Over a weekend, they played it to 15,000 people over three shows, and it went off, and they put it all over their social media, and it really pushed that track to the next level. Salado then asking what the track was, and wanting to sign it, and they actually eventually signed it to Solo. We also had some really bad luck, because the Monday after those shows, the pandemic hit, and it really stopped the reach of that track, and it really didn't do as well as it should have done, and we then had to help Josh through that, and help pick him back up and because his Josh's music really club focused we had to wait and that patience time which he really did well at has helped springboard the next bit the mental side of the industry is where our group calls our group mentoring every Tuesday and Wednesday really helps artists it's that check-in it's that accountability I'm turning up to do something every week checking in with us and checking in with the rest of the group so I've done this what do you think of this can you listen to my track from an A&R point of view which label should I send it to that side of this group mentoring every week really really helps artists push forward and they really get a lot out of our sessions. So the pandemic was ending and we had to work out then where Josh's tracks were going to next to the next labels for it. We helped him pitch that music out and then he got signed to some bigger labels and helped drive forward. Josh was also working on getting his tracks out to some artists that were going to support his music and help him get some content. Also along the way, Josh has been making edits and bootlegs and he's had some amazing luck with those edits and bootlegs. Firstly, Michael Bibby started playing one, then James Hype, Salado, Gorgon City, Joel Corey, Fisher and John Summit have all been playing his edits. And this has really helped him grow his SoundCloud and also get the content for social media. And he's networked to understand who the right people are to get the right video content for those big drops from those artists. Josh has also put in the key three phases to push in a release, which we taught through the course, The Artist Blueprint. And also is now part of a free training, which you can get linked in the description and pinned in the comments. Go and watch that free training. If you've got a release coming up, it's really going to help you get the most out of that release going forward. We also use data transmission channels like we do with lots of our course members to help them push their releases, whether it's from using our Instagram, whether it's using reposts on our SoundCloud to help them build those channels, whether it's doing interviews and articles or premieres with course members. And we did this the same with Josh to help him grow his music music and his releases. By doing all of this work and helping build his profile and building content of acts playing his music and getting his music signed to the right record labels, he was able to bring more to the table and this is then started to attract the right people to come and work with him. This summer he had some exciting meetings and got signed to an amazing music management company who's worked with some massive artists and some massive labels and it's really going to push his career to the next level. It's going to open doors to work with bigger vocalists and create bigger tracks and really push his records to the next level and get signed to some much bigger labels. I'm really excited to see where his career goes next from working with this great company. But this is only now the start of the next phase for him and he still needs to go and do the work to really, really take advantage of this massive opportunity that's going to come to him and really push himself to the next level. But I'm super excited to watch the next part of this journey for him. Good luck, mate.
Are you ready to start doing the work yourself and building yourself to attracting a music manager? As you've seen from this video, working with me and the Artist Blueprint is a great platform to springboard your career. It will build you up as an artist and create opportunities for you. And if you want to find out if it's right for you, then in the description, I have put a link to jump on a discovery call with me. And I hope to see you on a call. If you want to learn more about becoming a successful DJ and producer, then you want to watch this video next. But before you jump over there, consider giving this video a like, and subscribing to the channel, it really, really helps me out. And I will see you over there in the next video. I'll see you over there. Cheerio, bye-bye.